On August 6th, the church celebrates the Feast of Transfiguration, and thereby, according to the liturgical calendar, we also begin the season of Transfiguration. The Transfiguration of Christ is mentioned in all the Synoptic Gospels, but let us here try to read about this mysterious event of Transfiguration through the visual gospel. In Gospel that according to Matthew to chapter 16 verse 28, Jesus says, Truly I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death before they have seen the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. What follows in the account after that as mentioned in Gospel according to Mark chapter 10, Matthew chapter 17, Luke chapter 9 shows us the Apostle Peter, James and John became in their lifetime witness of this power and coming of Lord Jesus Christ, the power of the coming of the Son of Man. Let us see this icon in three parts. First, here in this icon, Christ transfigured is represented standing on the summit of the mountain, speaking with Moses and Elijah. His raiment is shining white. Moses on our right holding a book, even sometimes tablets of Ten Commandments. And Elijah on left is an old man with long hairs. Second, the disciples. Saint Peter will always be represented kneeling, supporting on his left hand and raising right hand to protect himself from the light. Saint John always in the center falls turning back to the light and Saint James flees and falls backward. And the third important part are the three rays pointing downward upon the apostles and they are the indications of the Holy Trinity. Often found in the icons of Annunciation also and Theophany and many other icons too. Now let us try to know in detail the transfigured Christ. The scripture tells us the testimony of Peter, James and John when they saw the face of Christ shining like the sun and raiment white as the light. And later on we read when a bright cloud overshadowed them and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. We see Saint Peter expressing this majestic event even in his letter. 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 16 to 18 where he says that being eyewitness of his majesty. Here is what the early father says about this. According to Saint Gregory of Nazianzus, the light was the divinity manifested to the disciple on the mountain. This divinity is not something added or created or of another nature, rather it is his eternal divinity that was granted to be revealed to Peter, John and James at this moment. Saint Gregory Palama says, The light of the transfiguration of Lord had no beginning and no end. It remained out of time and space. This manifestation of the divinity of Christ is also at the same time the theophany of the Holy Trinity. The Father by voice bore witness to his beloved Son, the Holy Spirit shining with him in the bright cloud. We see Moses and Elijah too. St. John Chrysostom gives several reasons to explain the presence of Moses and Elijah at the moment of transfiguration. He talks about how they both represent the law and the prophets. And secondly, he talks about how Moses represents the dead, while Elijah, taken up to heaven on a chariot of fire, represents the living. Now let us look into the disciples. In iconography, according to the Gospel of Matthew and Mark, the Apostle fell after having heard the voice of the Father and seen the bright cloud. We see Peter crying out here by raising a hand and saying, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three tents, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. By this, the three apostles were given a glimpse of the kingdom of God. 
and this was a moment which Christ had foretold them a week before mentioned in gospel according to Matthew chapter 16 verse 28 the apostles were seeing Jesus in his glory of the uncreated light of his kingdom this was a powerful experience and a glimpse of the kingdom to come saint peter later in his letter writes you may become partakers of the divine nature and by this saint peter reminds us that we too can see this uncreated light and be partakers of the divine nature through transfiguration we get a glimpse of the kingdom of god and what a human can become by grace in iconography whenever we draw the pictures of saints we surround them by this transformed reality we use the brightest color in order to show this uncreated light and which you can see in the eyes of those saints in this series of graphe we are learning about our faith through icons so do share and subscribe to our youtube channel